Well, it's the morning of day two of hiking. We made it to Fox Lake and we're headed to Painter's Basin, I believe, which will position us to head up to Kings Peak, which is the highest point in Utah, some 13,000, I'll put it on the screen, I don't know. But it's the highest point in Utah and so I'm super excited to get to hike today. 14 or so miles today, I think, I'm not exactly sure. We'll meet up with Michael Jones, which is Cash Max and he will summit with us tomorrow on Kings Peak. So let's go, let's head up to uh, Painter's Basin and then tomorrow, Kings Peak. Yesterday we were looking for a campsite and we were in this forest area trying to find a tree line and it was completely dead wood like that and there's a lot of downed trees and to me it looked like a tree cemetery that's what I called it and Pac started laughing because you get in there and you set up your tent and then you get a deadfall and your trip is over everything's over it's the beetles he said the beetles have been killing these trees for the last 15 years Still beautiful though, the undergrowth is coming up. Hi, you went this baby. Woo! -hoo. I feel like I'm in one of the highlands of Braveheart film. One of the, the kilts are gonna come out in the woods over there and storm the field. Absolutely stunning. Just mountains all around me. And I'm just in this meadow. You're hiking through the woods and then you pop out on this basin, I guess you call it, or meadow. And then here you are in the middle of this glorious beautiful meadow with rocks popping up everywhere a stream in the middle and it's so vast nothing like the southeast i've never seen absolutely amazing
the surface. Got out on, come on, I've been dreaming about this place. Fish Cleaning 101 with Paxalot. All right, this is how I do it. There's more than one way. I'm sure there's experts out there that say, oh no, don't do that, well, that's too hard. But this is how I do it. From the anus all the way up to right there. And then that little part of the gill there, I go down in there like that and cut that out like that. And that gives you something to hold on to so you can rip the entrails out. So you put your thumb right in the mouth like that. Put your finger in here and get behind all of the guts until you reach the backbone. Thumb in here and then peel it back. It's like you're peeling the top off an old style can of soda. And just peel it back like that, done. And then there's that little bit in there that you gotta get out. What you do is you take your knife and I slip that right down there like that. And then you can run your finger down that canal there to get all that out. Rinse it out real good. There you have Done. it. Done. Ready for the cooking. Perfect. So what we've done is I put lemon pepper in the middle of the fish and I put powder butter on the outside of the fish. Roll it up, roll it up like so, fold the sides. And we're gonna put it about five minutes on each side and ready to eat, let's go. So after the, the fire, yeah. there's the finished product right there. Oh yeah, woo, that's hot. All right, let's get to eating some brook trout. It is delicious. Lemon pepper, a little butter. Oh my gosh, absolutely delicious. Mm, mm, very good. It falls off the bone. Absolutely amazing. Worth every cast though. I didn't catch this one. Caught one yesterday, but didn't catch this one. So I am stealing off of other people that was a nice little detour we headed down to the lake caught some fish well i didn't catch any fish i caught one brought it to the shore jumped off i had a witness to that anyway but we caught several i say we they caught several and we cooked them up good old lemon pepper uh, powdered butter and those Rookies were amazing. All right, let's get back on the trail. Maybe seven miles left for the day. We knew we would stop for lunch and I'm glad we were able to eat some fish along the way. Let's go. Well, we got some ups left before we get to Painter's Basin. Reminds me of the Tom Petty song. Well, I won't back down. No, I won't back down. 
You can stand me up at the gates of H-E double hockey stick, but I won't back down. in the middle of a monster climb. We thought we were in Painter's Basin, which means like low, but you gotta climb up to the basin. I'm gonna guess a 2,000 foot climb, but my numbers are usually pretty bad. It's been straight up and <laughs> I don't see the light in the trees yet, so I don't know where it is. We gotta finish it today, so we'll just keep going. That is King's Peak. That's where we're heading tomorrow. We're camping tonight, so we'll be in reach of it tomorrow. We do Anderson's Pass, and then we head up to the top of the peak, which is the highest point in Utah. Gotta buckle up my straps a little tighter tomorrow. Let's go. We're coming into Painter's Basin and it's just blown me away as most of this stuff has take a look at what's behind the camera unbelievable It's the end of day two of hiking. We've made it to uh, Painter's Basin and I'm already in my tent because there's a swarm of mosquitoes outside. But behind me is our destination for tomorrow. Well, partly. We're gonna get up to Anderson's Pass and then we're gonna go up to King's Peak, the highest point in Utah. So I need a good night's sleep and new knees and uh, a little bit better cardio. Oh well, I'll do what I can. Let's uh, get some good rest tonight, and I'll see you guys in the morning. Thanks for watching As a Crow Flies Hiking. We'll see you on the next episode, which is tomorrow in Kings Peak.